Hey guys, it's Monday, January 11th. Hope you all had a great weekend. I've got 18 eBay orders to ship out and a couple orders outside of eBay to ship out as well. Let's get to work. All right, first things I'm shipping are um, some things that some viewers reached out to me about uh, that I sold outside of eBay. First is this Cadillac garment bag. Uh, I sold that for 30 free shipping. Next is a Dave Matthews Band crash cassette tape. That sold for $15 free shipping. And next is this vintage like roll holder. It holds like wax, foil, like paper rolls. You put them all in there and then you can pull them and like tear them. It's pretty cool. I can't remember exactly, but I think this one sold for $35 free shipping. And those are going to Josie, Andrew, and Catherine. Thank you all so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Okay, next things I pulled from my storage unit. First is this Boomba charger bat it's a softball bat nothing you know super special got it um uh, from the pickle resellers with all those bats that i bought from them i think i had listed for like 30 or best offer somebody sent an offer of 17 dollars plus shipping and i accepted next is this over the rhine book same one i sold last week i had a couple of these i had 50 cents into that it sold for 11.99 plus shipping and last thing is this sonic temple t-shirt it's a music festival in columbus from 2019 that sold for $14.99 plus shipping. That shirt's going out to you named Chris. Chris, thank you for the business. Really hope you like that shirt. Next thing I'm shipping are some shoulder pads right here. These are Vintage Hutch, I believe is the brand. Yeah, um, made in Cincinnati too, way back in the day. Hutch Sporting Goods. Got these from the Piqua Resellers. They sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Next is a hat in A31. It is this one right here, Dale Earnhardt Jr new with the tags that sold for 11.99 plus shipping this hat's going out to viewer name randy randy thank you so much man really appreciate it okay next is a die cast car up here on d1 it is 2001 ken schrader halloween I believe is this one right here this is one of the cars i got in that big uh, online auction and this one sold for 19.99 plus shipping next thing's over in d42 Tomb Raider 2 for PlayStation 1. Also something I got from the Pickle Resellers. That sold for $10.99 plus shipping. Next thing is a handheld metal detector that I'm selling for my mother-in-law. Right down here. White's Bullseye. That sold for $17.99 plus shipping. Viewer named Chris bought this. Thanks for the support, Chris. Next thing are some sci-fi books. It's two of them. I believe it is these right here. World of Tears. Volume 1 and 2. I've got 10 cents into each of those. They sold for $11.99 plus shipping. And the book right next to it sold as well. The Great Awakening. This is also something I got from the Pickle Resellers. I guess it was last week. Not in the best shape, but really cool. Um, it's from 1886. Had it listed for $20 or best offer. Somebody sent me an offer at $15 plus shipping and I accepted. If your name Jason got that book. Thank you for the support, Jason. Next thing is a Nintendo Wii. This thing is complete. It's got games, a Wiimote. I've got about $20 into this. It sold for $69.99 plus shipping. Next thing is an E42. It is a scanner. And it has the charger right here. This is a Uniden Bearcat. Something I got from that private pick. I guess it's been about a month ago now. Got $10 into that. It sold for $34.99 plus shipping. Alright, right next to it, an E41, I sold... A Game Boy game, Mario Tennis. That sold for $16.99, free shipping. Sold another NES game right here. TNC Surf Designs. Also did an auction with this one. It sold for $125 plus shipping. Your name Adrian got that game. Adrian, thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing is right here in F42. It is Star Ocean for PS1. It's the case only. Uh, that sold for $12.99, free shipping. Next is a Stein. Let's see, this one right here, I got this up in Cleveland with all those like cars and all that other stuff I got. I guess it's been like six months ago. That sold for $14.99 plus shipping. Your name Ian bought that Stein. Thanks for the support, Ian. Next thing is a pair of walkie-talkies right here. These are a realistic brand. I think the model is like TRC241 or something. Got these in that private pick I went on about a month ago. Unfortunately, they didn't work, but I was still able to sell them uh, as is for parts. 
Somebody might just want them on their bookshelf just to look cool. I don't know. Uh, they sell for $24.99 plus shipping. Last thing I'm shipping out is an A41. It is a Game Boy Advance uh, SP. Not the uh, the newer backlit version, not the 101. This is the 001. If it was the 101, it'd probably be close to 100 bucks. Uh, but this one sold for 64.99, free shipping. I'm doing some listing, and there's something I wanted to point out to you guys. I picked up this copy of Super Mario Brothers in a bulk buy. I think it's been about two or three weeks, and there was a couple things that were just kind of off to me. The label looks a little off, like it's just not really clean. And there's some fading here on the side. I don't know how well you guys can see that, but I've never seen an NES cartridge fade like that. I don't know if it's sun damage or what, but I had an inkling that this could be a fake. So I got the screwdriver kit. There's two of them. And these are made specifically to take out the screws and NES cartridges, SNES, Game Boy, and a couple other ones too. So I'm gonna take this apart and see if it is genuine. All right, so here's the board, and we flip it over, and right there it says Nintendo. So it is a genuine game. That's the only way you can really tell if you got a genuine game or not, is if you open up the case and look to find the Nintendo stamp. So this one's legit. I'm going to go ahead and list it. When you guys are buying video games to resell, be very careful because there are a lot of fakes out there. It seems like they're more and more common these days. I've come across a few and this is a really handy tool to have if you don't have one. It only runs about five bucks. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check it out. It's Tuesday morning. I have 10 eBay orders to ship out, but first I've got some viewer questions I want to answer. First is from John Parr. Hello, John. Love watching your videos. I noticed most of your items on eBay are buying now. If someone contacts you making an offer on an item listed as buy it now will you accept it if reasonable what percentage below your asking price would you consider a fair offer or if someone asks you to do free shipping on an item will you do that it's a really good question okay so i do have buy it now for the vast majority i'd say 95 percent or more of my items i really only like doing auctions if it is something that i can't pinpoint the value of and there's a really good demand so you know people are going to hopefully bid it up uh, but i do have best offer turned on for a good number of my buy it now items depending on what it is i usually like to wait about a month before i turn on best offers because if there's a buyer out there they might just go ahead and buy it for my asking price as far as reasonable you know offers that i accept i think it depends on how long i've had an item if i've had it for three or four months you know probably 20, 30% less of my asking price is pretty reasonable to me. If I've had it like six months to a year, I might take like 50% of my asking price. So it really just depends on what it is you have and how fast you want to move it. I've got like some like more rare items like recently that uh, cigar felt advertising piece, really uncommon thing. Probably was going to have a hard time finding a buyer for that. So when I got an offer for 200, I went ahead and snatched it up. The last part of your question, whether or not I'll do free shipping, I generally don't like to do it. If it's something that I, you know, know isn't gonna cost me probably more than like $10, every once in a while I will. And I kind of treat it as like a best offer. So if I've had it for a while and they're like, hey, would you do free shipping on this? Sometimes I will. So it's a case by case basis. Next is from Danny Carlson. How did you find the space you're in currently? Was it just looking around online or? question mark so he's talking about this space right here this my warehouse space and i drove past this hundreds of times on my way to my house so i knew that it was here and i, I think i had called and had my name put on a wait list for when you know one of these opened up and you know lo and behold it happened so this has just been a really really great space for me you if you're looking for a warehouse space you can check loopnet I think it's a website and an app. You can check Craigslist under housing and then um, like office commercial. You can check Facebook and search warehouse. In my opinion, the best way to find a spot is to just drive around. Drive around your surrounding area, drive through business parks. You're gonna wanna avoid like retail spots because it's usually gonna be way, way higher rent as opposed to just like a you know warehouse type space. But yeah, just drive around, see if they've got any for lease or for sale signs and you'll be surprised what you find. Last is from Big Three Highlights. Quick question, just wondering, all in all on an average day, how much time would you say you spend on everything related to eBay, garage sales and everything? So I try to set up my work as like a normal nine to five day. I usually, like more often than not though, I get in around eight and I leave around like 
4 30 or something like that to go get the kids and i don't work on the weekends unless i'm going to like garage sales on saturday and that's really only from like april to october or something like that so there's solid six months of the year where i'm not really doing anything on the weekends so i guess i put in about 40 45 hours a week the thing with ebay is the more you put into it the more you get out of it so if you're able to work more hours you put more time into it it'll definitely pay off more for sure all right time to ship some items first thing is right here i went ahead and pulled this from my storage unit this is a ping rapture driver just picked this up in a trade a few days ago and that sold for $34.99 plus shipping as you can see i went ahead and pulled a box i had this box in my storage unit for whenever i sold another driver it's ready to go okay next thing i'm shipping is a charger let's see c51 this is a realistic walkie-talkie charger that sold for $19.99 free shipping next is an e31 right over here i think i sold a couple things out of here so we'll just go ahead and pull it all at once i sold this Dragon Ball Z uh, Game Boy Advance game for $9.99 free shipping. And I sold Super Mario Brothers 3. This is the one that I took apart to confirm that it was um, a genuine Nintendo game. That sold for $17.99 free shipping. Viewers Randy and Christina bought both those games. Thank you both so much for the support. I really appreciate it. Next thing's a calculator. Let's see. Right here. This is a TI-83. The screen is a little dark there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Other than that, it worked just fine. I think that hurt the value a little bit. This sold for $22.99 free shipping. Next is a pair of work boots right up here. Die Hard. Didn't even know Die Hard made boots. Got this uh, from the Pickwell resellers. They sold for $39.99 plus shipping. Next is a diecast car, something I just listed yesterday. Uh, let's see, it's an Ernie Irvin. Uh, m ms this one right here i got this in that uh, big auction lot of die cast that sold for 17.99 plus shipping next is an e32 right here it's a game boy game super mario land 2 the label was a little dirty and faded so that hurt the value some that sold for 13.99 free shipping next is in c42 it is a george jones knife with the case right here that sold for $14.99 plus shipping and last thing is right here Let's see if I can pull this down without doing any damage so this is a prime example of an auction I got this from that bulk a lot of stuff that I bought about a month ago Legos and housewares and all kinds of stuff so I don't have a whole lot into this it is an Imperial shuttle from Star Wars. And when this thing's complete, it sells like $350, $400. But mine's not complete. Uh, wasn't in excellent condition. So I decided to do an auction. I started it at a dollar and it sold for $227.50 plus shipping. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.